and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Things are heating up around here. This is episode two of Paldean Fates. First episode was amazing. I thought every, there were so many people in the scoring position, and I think it's just going to continue to roll because, especially because Steven got one point. Yes. <laughs> Meaning that, like, if you get one point, you're in it for last. But then if you just, like, tip over a little, you're in it for Big Steve. So who knows? At the top of the leaderboard right now, we have Chase at 44 points, and then we have a three-way tie for eighth place with Dakota, Christina Bierce, and John Smith. So it is everything's up in the air. That's after one episode. Team yeah. Grass, who keeps winning, is still winning, and I don't know how. The teams are even. They just know how to play the game. It's it's really unbelievable. I mean, Chase doing a ton of heavy lifting That's for true. Team Grass right now with 44 points, which alone matches the second place of the team competition overall, which is water with 44 points, whereas Grass is in a commanding 73-point lead coming into episode two. But as we know, anything can happen at any time. Let's dive on in. Yeah. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, would you like to do the honors? If I am not mistaken, well, what you guys want for this episode is eyeball. 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 Let's eyeball. see it. Eyeball. Ah, ah, it, no. Oh, oh, one tick too far, and it's going to be a salad energy kind of day. That means we get to change the boards I'm on. Don't worry, man. I know I don't want to bother you with it. You know, and now we're going. I mean, at least I can take solace in the fact that Flareon would totally roost old Leafsters back there, you know? As if Grass needed any more advantages, though. That is right? true. That is true. I know. Yeah, solid energy this season. In this show in general, they're just kind of the dynasty that they're needs to be it. taken down. They are not one of the chase cards today, though. The randomly chosen common chase cards are Charcadet, Dedenne, and Lantern. All right. Without any further ado, shall we dive on Let's in? dive on in with a Team Grass contender, M. Bug. Longtime player in the game, put up 14 last season. Ben, what have you got for him? We got a Pikachu pack right out of the gate, which I'm pretty sure we ended last week's episode with a Pikachu pack. So picking up right where we left Indeed. off, Froll and Bug. I'm so curious to see, especially we got to keep an eye on these on these green cards today to see how Salad does. We got mm -hmm. Metal Energy, so no type advantage there. We got the Pikachu, the Grievar, the Chinchow, the Woobat, the Kilowatt Troll. So much. Artisan. Electric I know, this yeah, one. this is interesting. Uh, the Curlia, the Charmander nope. will not score, the Barboach will not score, and the Professor's uh, Research will be worth two. Two points right there. Wow, not a single grass Pokemon to be seen. So even though uh, Team Grass is in the lead, M Bug is not going to be contributing to that number. Well, that's too but bad. But at two points, I suppose you could be in it for Big Steve. That's right, that's right. Yeah, there is there is some potential contention involved. So we'll yes. keep an eye on that one. Oh, man. And so I should also mention that in today's field, we've got four, kind of four rookies uh, up today is probably my son, Luke. Um, <laughs> it just says Luke. I have nothing else to go off of. He doesn't know how to have it. He doesn't know how to use a computer, nor does he have any money. So I'm not sure how he's playing, <laughs> but um, we'll just have to assume it's him. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let's see. Well, you get to open. For, I get to. I'll, I'll for, open for I'll probably open for your probably son my son Luke. It's definitely not. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This is his first pack ever. This is our first rookie of the day contender. Are we eating as a family at the Olive Garden later? We're gonna find out. The Woobat, the Fampy, the Dede. Then they will score the Noibat, the Atticus, the Donphan, Nestball does not, Natu does not, Nimona's backpack, and the, and the Zatu. Zatu. So 
Gosh, close to a critical hit, but only going to be a two-point pack, two I'm afraid. Pack. I think that Zatu is... Luke-ster. This has got to be... This card right here has got to be the most commonly pulled rare card that we've had so yeah, far. Yeah, it's like come up a bunch. A bunch of those, so... All right, Luke, we well, so, two is the number to beat. I guess you could be... Actually, we should write down what the Zatu is worth, because... Let's do it. Yeah, because this could be a big Steever. Yeah, what's... what? Uh, it's number 26 on the yes. set, which is front page, so 10 cents. Mm, I think that is too high, but you never know. You never At know. At least we know. Yeah. It's like 10 cents, too high. Too high, I'm afraid. Oh, a little too, a little too juicy. There Speaking of juicy, we've got Blood Vamp. Ooh, wow, yeah, okay. That's, that's one way to describe Blood Vamp. Yeah, you know, juicy. rival of uh, Andriana. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, ben yesterday was concerned that he was an energy vamp. Oh, I was indeed. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to be an energy vamp on the people in my life. So we got the eyeball energy, which, you know, as ever, if this if one shows up as a I type know. advantage, that that week's All worth of are candidates off. are going to be, yeah, totally OP. Uh, we got the rare candy, the Frigibax, the Pineco. The oh, new the Pineco scores. The our first grass of the day. Oh, you're right. There we go. The, I mean, I was like, why would it score? Yeah. No, there we go. We, I do feel like this is going to be the one that shows up. Too. You're We've right. We've seen a lot of that pine co. The nest ball used to score, but doesn't in this set. The Charmeleon, the Ultra Bar, the Armor Rouge will, will score. score. The, the Ralts, Ralts will not. not. Oh, a judge. judge. Oh, dude. Love a good judge card. That's fantastic. Super cool. Super cool. Uh, super playable. Yeah, so let's check the Armor Rouge first just to be sure. Yeah, it's just eight cents for that one. Okay. So, and then the Judge, which the number judge is that? The Judge is going to be 228. Number 228 on the set. Feels like a good go. one. It's our first of this card. Number 228 is worth $2.86. Just three bucks. Just three bucks. Dude, I'm going to go online later and buy like eight of these because this is like I want a full play set of Judge cards. Yeah. That seems like, yeah, such a, yeah, such just, a good one. Just it's such, a, such a steal. So it was three points. Yep, so three, three points. Four, five. Five points. Five there on the go. day for four, Blood Vamp. For Blood Vamp. Man. Easy. All right, next up, we've got Anna. Anna. Or, uh, yeah, Anna. 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 Anna of SCB um, Instagram fame. I yes, suppose. indeed. Let's see, she's got nine points on the day. Is it your turn to pull? Is I it mine? Okay, yeah. All right, I'll go for so. it. Right. Maybe it's not, because I don't know. It's too late. Now it's I'm already late. You're into it. I got you, Anna. She did ask you to prom once. That's true. That's true. Yeah. There we go. So we got the Dark Teardrop Energy. We got the Scraggy, the Gimme Ghoul, the Magmar, the Nimona, the Technical Machine Crisis Punch. Crisis Punch. The Dax Bun, the Gengar, the, the Hop Hop Oh, that will score. score twice. Yep. Yep, that's true. The Frigibax will not score. Did last week, and the Houndstone is probably the other most commonly rare card we've got I so know, far this right? season. The Hop Ip, number 96. Let's Hop take a look. Very those, cool. Yeah, those shinies are definitely like, it seems like this is where all the value in the set ended up going. Uh, $3.16 for the Hop Ip. So it's going to be four plus one for being grass is five. Houndstone is going to be another one. So six points for Anna and a hop up in the mail. There we go. Enjoy What's that up? hop up. What a good one there you go. to add to your collection. Yeah. Put it in your binder, dude. All right, next up is Kyle McCoon. Kyle McCoon. This is only his second season ever. Joined us midway through last season as a rookie and had a 40-point pack. So, yeah, so we, know, we know Kyle can do a lot of damage with just a single pack. Let's see if today he follows through. We'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty sure Kyle sat atop the leaderboard for one hot second, if I remember correctly, with that 40-point pull. Like I said, if he pulls 40 points, I won't even get him to the top of the leaderboard today. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we need 44 to take over. Or 45, rather, to take over Chase. 44 to tie. All right, we've got Noibat, Chimeco, Pikachu, Paldean Student, Gengar, Moonlit Hill, Maractus will score, but just once Ultra Ball and the Raichu. Uh, was the Raichu worth two? Maybe the Raichu could be number 19. Let's see. That's a front about. pager. Yeah, just 11 cents. No, just 11 cents. Sorry, that's going to be a two point pack for Kyle McCoon. His actually worst pack ever. <laughs> no way. How about that? Well, I'm sorry about that, Kyle, but better luck next time. Um, and in the meantime, though, I feel like this box is just needing to heat up. It's going to heat up, man. We it's got the, we that judge card, but it was still lacking in a little bit of value. That's right. All right, next up we've got uh, Anselman. Anselman. Who had a pretty All solid right. season last time, 29 points on the board. Very nice. But what can they do with a single pack? We're about to find out. I mean, again, even though we have a Chase is leading at 44, there are cards in here worth more than that on their own. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's there's plenty of things that can disrupt. I think there's the, the Charizard is worth over 180 points just yeah, by itself just by if somebody itself. pulls so it. So. That's going to be pretty epic. So we got the Natu, the Paldean Student, the Cottony, the Lapras, the Primeape, the Whimsicott, the Swoobat, the Mankey will not score, the Griefard will not score, and the Cyclozar. Oh, no. 
single point, but single. could it be a good for last place? Well, let's find out. 12 cents, so I actually uh, don't think, I don't think so it either, is. I think we're down to like seven cents or something for last place. Yeah, so unfortunately that's just that's just sort of a low earning that's pack a that's not even competitive for last. But seriously, look at all the psychic Pokemon. One, two, three, four, five in that one. I know, that's yeah. Crazy. I mean, if, if we have an eyeball energy type of the day, it's gonna change the game so much I know. because there's so many of them in every pack. Right? Like, what is going on? All right, next up we've got everyone's favorite, Rozzy Thacking. Rozzy the King. Rozzy the King, I know. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Nice, nice. All nice, right, nice. Uh, they've been, let's see, is it your your poll? Sure. Right? I can't, I dude, you wouldn't believe how hard it is to remember who just opened the pack. I don't know why this is such a challenge, but it certainly is. I'm doing so much math, you know. Math, math, math. A lot of things to keep track of on this show. Let's see here. We got the we got eyeball energy. There will be again. The Charmander, the rare candy, the Frigibax, the Pine, Pine Cove scores, scores, the Electric Generator, the Mousehold, the Lantern Terminal scores, the Charcadet uh, score. score. Yeah. yeah, there should be a bonus for getting all three. I know, I know. Yeah, we'll have to invent that one. Uh, <laughs> let's see the Woobat and something peeking out. The, the Noivern. Noi there we go. All so right. Number sixty-nine. I don't think we've seen that one yet this season don't either. Don't think we have, but it is a reprint, so I'm not giving it. I'm not thinking it's going to have too much. Yeah, thirty-one cents for that bad boy. So just a single point. Also, sorry, I said they got all three, but they didn't. They missed yeah, the Dedenne. That's but, true. But yeah. it, that should still be a thing. That, if you get yes. all three, that'd be crazy. I know. We need. Yeah, we need. We need something. Yeah. Like the, the collector's badge or something. Right. Yeah. Oh, all those. that'd yeah. be so yeah. fun. All right. So what was this? One. So point? just one point. All right. So just four. Four overall. points overall, as it were, for Rozzy the King. All right. Next up, we have Alex coming to. The arena. Alex for Team Water. For Team which, Water. You know, is is the number one most likely to strike on Team King Grass over there. Let's see what they can do. Metal Energy. We haven't had a single multiplier yet today. Not I'm yet, sure which means we'll it's get coming. There. The Whooper, all dark and psychic here. Atticus, Mousehold, Iono. Now we're the. Ooh, the Fin is here! Oh, and oh the Wug Trio again! It's our fourth one! The Wug Trio is such a troll. That's our, yeah, our fourth. One in under four. This is like a one in ten chance of pulling this part at this point. Just unbelievable. But the the fin is in. Is that how you pronounce that? The yeah. The one twenty three on the set. Yes. Let's take a look. That shiny is going to be most likely where. Oh, in fact, there is a little bit of value to that one. Yeah. Um, six dollars sixty eight cents. That's, That's a, a seven, seven point card. card. Yeah. And is the wug tree or just two? The Woke Trio it may just be one. Oh Let me gosh. double check. I uh, keep having faith in it. I'm like, it's got to be worth more than one. I know. You see it peeking out. The art is so fun. I know. You just like I, the first one we pulled, we were blown away at how yeah, 66 cents for that Woke Trio. Yeah, seven, so. eight, nine points there for uh, Alex. So for Alex, so well bad. done, well done. Not a bad position. I think uh, everybody who's currently tied for the eighth place spot have eight points. Um, so having oh, so nine. That will have We'll tie you with Afropunk at the moment, but I feel like there's a very strong possibility that we'll yeah, see some. Down. Yeah, we'll see those slide down. So maybe not a bad place for for quality eighth place, but we'll see. All right, next up we've got Marcos. And it's me again playing for Team Water. Nine points probably actually did work for Water, right? Nine Maybe points probably. may have worked for Water. Yeah, that, that could have gotten bit. you in. Yeah, got you in the running a little bit. This is not enough to get okay, board. Yeah. yeah. Um, Let's see here. So then we got the we got the raucous pummeling energy there. We got the mime junior, the moshif, the barboach, the lechonk, the scrafty, the gengar. Something seems like it's peeking out back I know, there. Yeah, the, like the uh, oink alone. Oh, oh the, the toad, toad scroll. scroll. Look at that, the shiny toad scroll. There we go. Try, I always feel like you know you you like we see it in such like really beautiful light. Sometimes I'm like, what is the overhead cam getting there? But I, know. I guess Ethan will go back and capture them on the, yeah, the so rotating pedestal the of fun. Exactly, the rotating pedestal of fun, yeah. indeed. Oh my gosh, look <gasps> at this. Whoa, oh! Whoa, the Chiyu! Oh my oh, gosh. I cannot tell you how much I love the green back I know, there. The green is super cool. I feel like I'm getting it a little bit right now in the overhead, but that man, is that, so is, that is a beautiful What a pack! I know, what a pack And the research, Professor, yeah. well, actually, this is a different research. It might not be worth two. We'll have to check that one, okay, just to be yeah. sure. But let's so see. let's take Toad a look school here. school is 213. 213. And it is grass, actually, so we'll get an extra point. Oh, good, good save on yeah. that. Let's see. And so. then the Chi Yu. God, what a cool card. Okay, so Toad Scroll is worth $1.85, so that'll be, be two, two plus one. Three. So three. Yep. And then what is the Chi Yu? The Chi Yu is two forty one. Two forty one. Only have to flip one more page. It's gonna be worth eight dollars sixty two cents. So that'll go up to nine. So nine. And this one was worth three. Um yes. Yeah, okay. And then And then the, the research will make sure that's not a two point card or a two point card. Yes, let's see here. Dollar twenty. Wow! So two, point. so two yep. points. So that's gonna be 
Uh, a 14 point pack. Wow, there we go. There we now, go for Marcos. A... And two beautiful cards coming your way. Absolutely. Love to yeah. see it. Team Water definitely just had a nice surge. It's a good, and, yeah. And that's going to put you right under Law Skill. Uh, or low skill Rob, rather, uh, who has 16 points. So in fourth place overall, man. On the so again, good position really, to get bumped down. Yes, absolutely. That's that's a good spot to be in. So let's let's keep an eye on that one. Oh my God! Okay, next up, next rookie of the day. It's Sir Dobbington. Sir Dobbington. Sir Dobbington. This is a, this feels like another rookie who's doing a Harry Potter thing, right? Uh, it, yes, I feel like we've referred to Dobby as Sir Dobbington I know, in right? a video. Uh, but uh, Sir Dobbington is a girl dad and will be watching episodes with the whole fam. Well, oh! hello, Dobbington family. Hi, Dobbs. If that is your real name. <laughs> if it is, that's amazing. And hey, you know what? If you pull a good enough pack here, you can take the family out for breadsticks. That's exactly it. That's here exactly we go. it. All right. You only got to be two points at the moment that's from it, yeah. my possible son, Luke. Let's see it. Bam, oh, lightning energy, so still no. No, um, no salads. No, oh, there's a Maractus, oh, Swoobat, Camerupt, Atticus, Exeggutor, Will, Score, Ghastly, oh, this is the Haunter. Oh, and the, uh, oh, man. Wrong oh. Nimona. But that's our third, our third full art Nimona of this variety, fourth full art Nimona thus far. So it's about as common to get a full art Nimona as a Wug Trio. How about that? How about Jeez. that? Yeah, so the full art Nimona, not as much as the other variant of it. $1.57. We'll round um, up to two. Two, three, four on the pack, which is at least good enough for Rookie of the Day at the moment. At the moment. So Don't we're going to have to keep head. a... Yeah, exactly. Don't get a big head about it. We're going to we'll keep Sir we Dobbs. got two more Sir right. Dobbs. Yeah, that's right. But it's possible. It's possible. Family dinner on the line. Next up, oh, the mod curse. Is it in play today? It's E Stock. E Stock. E Stock in the game. Let's see what she's got. Last season actually sort of broke the curse at a 27 point season. Very solid for a moderator. I know, who have just famously, they've always they've always struggled a bit. There's no doubt, there's no doubt. But Let's can see. we pull it out today? Fire energy, still no type advantage. Would have been good last week though. We got the New Mouth, the Natu, the Paul Dan Student, the Cottony, the Primate, the Whimsicott. The Scrafty will not score. Oh, the Doduo! Do hey, that's oh, something. That is, that's pretty fun. Yeah. I like the green variant. That's that's pretty gorgeous. So that'll score. The Cyclozar will score, as will the Cerule Edge. Bam, all right. So there we go. Let's check 199 on the set for us to go see what that. that does. Sleep the Doduo will come in at $2.48. So we'll round up to three, four, five for e stock Yep, I think so. Not a bad showing, not a bad, I, mean, I call that, that feels like like the typical like Big Steve type of score. You it know? does, like, like, like score. Good, solid, strong, you know, right. but maybe not, maybe not totally making waves, but we're still proud of East stock Well done, well done. Enjoy your cards, enjoy your Doduo. Oh, next up it is Drawing Hearts, so as ever, I must draw a heart on right, the There we go, as ever, we're gonna run out of space on go. this one pretty quickly. We'll make it happen, you know. Uh, we're on to, yes, yeah, season, yeah, I had to flip over her card after only four seasons, whereas uh -huh. normally I could fit like, Eight on the like front. Eight on one, yeah. Let's see. Her last season was six points. Let's see how Drawing Hearts does today. I got you, Drawing Hearts. Don't worry. We're going to pull something big. Yeah, it's you're time. feeling it? You're it's feeling time. it? It's time. Okay. Yeah. Let's see it. Bam. Metal Energy, so no type advantage. Don't need it. Mankey, Magmar, Nimona, Charmander, Curlia, Artisan, Dock Sponge. Oh! I told you! What? Oh, it's the sh it's the blue Mew. Oh man, that's so cool. That's it's like the second cool. highest value card I think in the whole it's, set. No, there, it's a different. It's an illustrator one. Oh, is it? There's a no different way. Blue Mew. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so maybe maybe, but none the then the Charcoal will actually also score because it's a chase card, and then Magmordor is a rare card. But let's see what the Mew does. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, man. Yeah. So I really I was about to be I like, well, you. the game just got broken. I told but, you, draw um, hearts. Let's see. Let's see. What this that one I bet is still us. worth something. Let's. See. Yes, indeed it is. Okay, so not not as absolutely crazy as I thought, but thirteen dollars fifteen cents, mm -hmm. so fourteen, fourteen, point. fifteen, sixteen. There we go. 16 points for drawing hearts. Amazing. And so you know what? You got the prize anyway, because you get the Mew. You get the Mew, which yeah. is super awesome. So Such a cool. fun card. Gonna gonna tie for third place at the moment with uh, low skill Rob. 
Well done. Very cool card. Very cool card. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right, next up, we have, so we have Low Skill Rob, but now we also have Below Average Gaming Dad. Okay, okay. Yeah. They feel, they feel like rivals. I'm just going to mark it down, you know. I think you want to start opening. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Here. Yeah. Okay, okay. So Low Skill Rob, Below Average Gaming Dad are now basically at uh, utter feud with one another. Wouldn't it be hilarious if they were, like, related in some capacity? I know, like, right? Like brother-in-laws and are like, <laughs> yeah, right. you know, like, no, like hey, I signed up with this name, so you should sign up with <laughs> yeah. this name. We'll make, we'll make it like a competition. Man, Metal Energy would have been the title. It, I know, like we've today. seen a bunch. We, I feel like, I, I wouldn't ask Ethan, the editor, to do this, but it would be so interesting to know on, like, on, on like, a box-by-box a -box basis, which yeah. is the most prominent, oh, gosh. you know? But <laughs> what a, I know. This, this is, like, where I wish we had the resources of the NFL, where they can keep track of, like, seemingly right. every single you just, like, show up, like, you just, yeah, it, hello, intern, can you go check uh, the most common energy card across nine seasons? Thanks. Thanks, 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 thanks. Enjoy yeah. your day. Enjoy your day! <laughs> All right, we got the Execute, the Ghastly, the Ralts, the Toad School. Yeah. Will score. Yes, there we go. Artisan, the Lantern, Lantern will score. score. The Moonlit Hill. The Paldean Whooper will not score. The Chin Chow will, will not score. And the Armor Rouge will. That's so going to be a three-pointer right there if ever I did see one. Way to go, J.J. Reddick, apparently. So I have to say, it looks like Low Skill Rob has, uh, has taken the lead on this one. Sorry for below average gaming dad. There's always next time. You yep. know, at the, at the next family picnic, be sure to, you know. You know, yeah. Throw down. But don't actually. Violence is never the answer. Right. I mean, we met with Pokemon cards. Exactly. Right, right, right. Have right. a duel. Like, bring bring them, have them in, like, the pocket that's usually right here, and, like, you guys can, like, pull them out, like, slap them down. Right. People will be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. People didn't, didn't see know that those coming. guys were playing. Wow. Should have brought wow. my own deck. All right. Next up, we have Tyler Gillies. Tyler Gillies. All right. Let's see. How's he going to do today? Playing for Team Fire. Team Fire. Team Fire, who I believe is in the bottom spot overall. We'll see how things shake out after today's scoring. Oh, no. Sorry. We have not had a single salad energy all day. No, I think we're getting so deep in. And no, oh, oh, there's the, the Armor Rouge. Rouge. The Graplock will not score. The Magmortar will. So many fire. I know. Lots of fire going on. Would have been good last week. Good shiny Armor Rouge. You can barely tell. The shiny variant is like the exact same as the regular one. Let's see. Number 115 is our first one so far. Yep. Um, it's going to be $3.98. Right, so round so up to four. Or $5 pack there. Or five point pack, as it were. Well done to Tyler Gillies for that one. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Man, really, really hoping to see some salad energy here in a second. I know, I know. It feels like it's got to be any second. Someone's going to hit it. We got the beloved we haven't even. Pack. I feel like yesterday we were here getting tons of critical hits, too, and today we're not. Nothing, yeah, yeah. nothing. But whatever. All Next right. up is Tina Dodge, who had a 17 point season last time on three packs. We got the Eyeball Energy, which again, you know, something to look out for in the future. The yep. Lapras, the Mime Jr., the Mastiff, the Barboach, the Ultra Ball, the Swoobat, the Clive, the Nimona showing up again, will not score. The Cottony will not score. And the Heat Rotom. Rotom. Oh, the Heat Rotom might be good for last place, though, Ben. No, I think this is the one that has, it's worth 99 cents. Oh, so no, it's, I'm it's sorry. It's got the terrible rounding. It's the worst at rounding. Yes, yes, indeed. Gosh, so it so is just one point. Just one point, and only one cent worth so really like the heat rotom by itself is like your worst one point scenario because <clears throat> that's it's really as high is. as one point can be worth Ugh. without becoming two. So. You hate to see it. Well, but it's impress impressive in its own way. It is. You know, you did you did manage to pull it off. Okay, so we got we got uh, Earth for Earth. Team Grass. Sailor Earth. Sailor Earth. Were. Yes, yes, indeed. This is another one of those situations where you can just you can just feel Team Grass being like, they're no, like, they're here right. we go, here we go. Let's go. You just pulled the Heat Road, Tom. Thanks for taking that card out of the mix for <laughs> right. us. This player's name is literally Earth. Okay? I know. <laughs> There's the Rolls, the Toad School, school scorer. Yeah. Clubopus, oh no, not scoring today. Frigibax not scoring today. Scrafty, Curlia, Swoobat. Oh, the, the Clod Clod Sire is back. The Mimikyu is here. The Annihilate. Wow, so, wow, wow. There wow, you wow. go. Four okay. scoring cards, as ever. Team Grass is just like, we'll show you how it's done. We got you. Yep, so that Clod Sire, not the most valuable. We have pulled one so far. It's worth $1.77, so two. Two, three, so, four, five. So five points for... Um, for Earth and Team Grass. Well done indeed. There you go. Don't prob not probably making a dent on Grass's score, but they're just like, we got the cards. Yes. We got them. Next up, we've got Jacob C. Jacob C. Oh my God, another Come on down. All right, let's we see. need like a name for this box, I think, you know? Oh yeah, like the ring. The, yeah, yeah. The stadium. Something like that. The square. Ring yeah. of death. The ring of the ring of death. We, Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. You guys, if you guys have a good if, uh, suggestions, leave them in the comments. Yes. Yeah. There we go. What All we right. should call the square. 
So we've got the Dark Teardrop Energy, the Mime Junior, the Noivat, the Chime Echo. Chime Echo! Nailed it. The Ghastly, the Lantern, Lantern will scores. score. The Moonlit Hill, the Dawn Fan, the Ultra Ball will not score. The Executor will score. And the Professor's Resource Research. will score two. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Four points, points overall four. for Jacob C. Jacob C. There you go. Scoring, well, maybe not scoring for Team Electric, but playing for them. Playing for them, at least, you yeah. know. It's a team effort. Exactly. Know. I know you guys are all like, guys, we really need to focus our strength. I think we should put all of our energy towards one big pack. You know? Right, right. I like to imagine, like, you know, when we would go to, like, game or like uh, track meets and we'd all be, like, yeah. on the bus together. You know, like, each... I like to think that each team is on the bus together and they're having, like, their pep talks. Exactly. Like, it's like, you got this out there today. I know. Right, yeah. yeah. Who's in last place right in, now? In last place Or overall? at the start of the day? At the start of the day, at least PC. No, the, water. Like, team-wise. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, last place, fire. Fire. Uh, yeah. Struggle bus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There it was. Back there. All right. So next up, we've got Beck Squad. Beck Squad. Was Beck, was Beck Squad a season champion? No, no, Beck Squad was not. Okay. Anyway, I'm just just spitballing here. Yeah, Let's yeah. see what Beck Squad has got for us today for Team Five for Team Struggle Bus, as it were. There we go. As I like to call them. As of a cut. Metal again. Oh, no, it's it showing up everywhere. everywhere. All right, Fido, Haunter, Nechu, Whooper, Moon. So many Moonlit Hills too. Don Fan. Oink alone, the Fampy and the Raichu. So just a one just point a pack. Just a one no. point. Man, oh, fire. Man. Uh, Back squad, what are you doing? You guys right. gotta get fired up over what's there. This, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> what's the What's the Raichu value? I think it's, it's pretty like low. Eleven cents, 11, but not but quite not low, low enough. Yeah, we're we're looking for people in that six cent range to really start to shake things up. Fire! I'm I'm, I'm got my eye on you guys. You got a couple more players here, but there we uh, go. Something something still left to happen. Got a break, you know. All right, next up, we have got Mark Mark. Mark Mark. Mark Mark, second season ever. So they joined us last season on season eight. Uh, they only put up nine. Well, they put up nine points. That's not terrible. So three, three, three. Three, three, three. Yeah, they, yeah, they were very... a three-point pack back to back to back to back. Yeah, so Mark Mark has never scored anything but three points. Let's see well, if today they, be can, the same. they can continue today. All right, slide off the back. We've got the electricity. Still no salad. Still none whatsoever. The Nimona, the Charmander, the Rare Candy, the Frigibax, the Oinkalone, the Camerop, the Moonlit Hill, oh, the Charmander. The Charmander. There we go. So we, hit. we got a critical hit. There we go. The, the Barboge Bar will not score. Oh, but the Espadro will. will. And it's a grass, so it there's a one grass. extra point on top for that multiplier. That's going to be a little nice. It won't be three points. Yeah, but it will only be four because it's worth 71 cents. We'll round up the oh. line plus an extra point for the grass type. Uh, basically, times two times gets two you is four points overall. Four, wow, on the Espathra. So, Mark Mark setting a new personal record. A new personal record. Had to multiply himself past three yes. to four. Right, right, which we, we know hasn't happened in the past because you can't multiply yourself into three. Right. So. so first time with a multiplier. Good job. Good job indeed. All right, Ben, next, t next up it is uh, Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop. Shadow Loop, and uh, it, they, I... The last couple packs, they've gone two, two, and then we kept telling them they can do better, and they did three. So you know what? We're hoping for four, Shadow Loop. You can do this. I believe in your four-point pack. You're on Team Grass, for God's sake. Look deep into yourself and find the mark mark right. within. Right, exactly. You can do this. Big packs. Things are going to happen for you right now. Maybe. Maybe. No we'll multiple. Oh, the Dedenne will score. We'll score. Yep. It's a good start. Good start. Chimeco, Ghastly, Nestball, Gengar, Moonlit Hill, Gimme Ghoul. Oh, oh, critical hit! And on the Fortress! No way! Okay, it's gonna okay. be more than three. Okay. I'll tell you that. Two critical hits back to back is pretty cool as well. It's our first Fortress, at least of this, yes. this particular capacity. It is a reprint, so I'm not thinking it's gonna be huge points or 33 anything. cents, so we'll get an extra wow. point for being grass. So two, three, times two is six! There we go, so honestly. What? I said, I said, find your inner Mark Mark, and this is almost exactly what Mark Mark just did, was, was having a rare grass type to get their way up. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So, look at that. Two grass players back to back playing the exact same strategy. Very well implemented. Are I'm you just writing though? well done. There we go. On Shadow Loops card here. Amazing. Because you did. I need like a, I need like a sharpie to, for writing on cards. <laughs> right. Like, like yeah. The, the inclusion. This is like sometimes like I like when we have like a pack that is like less thrilling. I want. I, I, you guys will have to let us know. Would you be okay with us sending you a message? Like we would never mark up like a valuable card. No. But would you be okay with us to, like you know sending like a little 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 notes your yeah. way? Because I don't want to like foul up your cards that you are in fact paying for. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Let us know in the comments down below. Next up is icy vanilla. Vanilla. Maybe. Probably. 
even. Uh, let's see what Icy's got. This is their fourth season with us, so they they're they're they've got their feet in the water, you know. Yeah, they're they're used to the game. They know the ropes. They know where all the water stations are. It's, it's time to stuff. strike. Yet yeah. another metal type energy. Unbelievable. We got the Whooper, the Execute, the Mankey, the Flittle, the Camera Op, the Electric Generator, the Charmeleon, the Armor will score. The Ralts will not score, and the Executor uh, will also score, but just a single just point. Just a so two point, point pack, pack there. And honestly, because you have two rare cards contributing to that, it's probably not going to be Big Steve Zone because they'll just not. add up to go past it. But anyway, that's what happens. All right, next up we have Dieter Fifty Six. There we go. Who uh, the la this is only their second pack ever. They entered in in the final round of last month as a rookie and won Rookie of the Day with twelve points. Amazing. So they've uh, you know they've had a good they had a good outing. Right. Yeah. Right, they right. went to the garden. They had some salad. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. Or, or or breadsticks or soup or you know whatever. You get I would there. so love if you're rookie of the day and you do go to the Olive Garden if you would send us a picture. Please do, be, please yeah, do. Please do. That would be amazing. Dark teardrop energy. Here we go. Tandem mouse, flittle, Pikachu, mouse hold, mouse hold and tandem mouse. I don't know. Clyde the Riolu! The Dedene will, will score and, and the, the Goldango will, will score. score. All right. Well, let's see what that Riolu's worth. I love the yellowness of it. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's check number 173. So Seems like all of these get at least a few extra Golden points. Golden boy. Three dollars twenty cents for All that right, real so and the gold dango is just one. I believe it is indeed. Four, I can five, double six. check for safety, yeah. but yeah, number sixty-seven on the set. I know six. we've I know we've pulled it. Yeah, twenty-four cents. So All right, starting to learn the set pretty well. At there this we point. go. Yeah, six-point pack overall there for Dieter. Very solid. Uh, to get in their last two packs up to 18 points, which is you know pretty good, better than most people can say. There we go. Let's see. Is this is this a, our next rookie, Carly B? Carly B, but not to be confused with Carly. Carly, our our own our first and only two-time champion. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We wow. Unbelievable, Carly. But this is this is not that Carly. This is Carly B. Okay, so Carly B uh, is looking to beat Sir Dobbington, yeah. who currently has four points. Although that family all watching together, you know, they're, they're like, they're like pack. this is this is the moment. Like we could be going out to the garden together. We could be. Yeah. So we're we're about to find out how that shakes out. We got the fireball energy right off the top. So that doesn't do anything for us. The Paldean student, the Barboach, the Woobat, the Tandem Mouse, the Atticus, the Mouse Hold, hold the Iono. Oh, the, the Toad, Toad school. school. There we oh. go. Oh, oh the but the oh. it wasn't worth very much. I don't think it was. It's such a dark looking card and a gold angle again. But no matter what, it's going to be more than four. It's at least four points because this will be one, two. Three, four. You're right. Not right. And this one value. will probably be more, and this one might be more. All right, let's so let's see. go ahead. This might be knocking out Sir Dobbington and the fam from the garden, as it were. I know. Let's see. With number 105. Yes, indeed. The Toad School's going to be worth, uh, let's see, $2.88. We'll round up to three plus There's one. Three. So the Toad School on its own is four points. The Palafin is. Oh, sorry, the Palafin. Let me look at that. I want to say it was just one point somehow. I know. We were really surprised by that one, I remember. Yeah, the art is so cool on this it one. Is. I mean, look at that, like, dolphin guy down there. $1.15. So it's okay, actually so worth it is two. two. So four, five, six, seven. Seven points. Seven overall. point pack into the lead for rookie of the day. It all comes down to one last player, Carly B. Well done. I'm going to mark that down for you. What, what I'm starting to see here is that if your name and you're watching right now is Carly. Basically, sign up. Right, just sign you know, up. Like, the, like you know, join the party. This I mean, is your game. Be, be a part of the Lauren squad. Exactly. Well, I mean, you guys can compete with the Lauren squad. They'll have the Carlys versus Lauren's. Like, that could be oh, its whole thing. Jeez. Oh, I, I can already dream of it now. <sighs> well, anyway, next up we've got uh, Jackinator and Dakinator, who have been a longtime power couple in the game for sure. They've really been ramping it up, man. They went 4 4, 15, 29. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Really one so, of the. The uh, more prominent power couples in the game. We got a bunch of people to play together. I know, yeah, which I I always love because like when, when there's two people's names on the card, I'm like, certainly they watch together. Or they at least text each other like as soon as the episode is over. Right? It's another one! Fido, Natu, Haunter, Camera Up, Atticus, Don Fan, Rare, Candy, Maractus will score, and Gardevoir! There we go. Oh, so the Gardevoir does have some chops on it. Let's see. No, this one doesn't oh, actually. No. We've already pulled it once already. This Never one is, is a reprint, so it's just worth 46 cents. Wow. Oh, so it's um, just two point pack. Yes, indeed. After so. I, I I like buttered you guys up so I much. This I know. Is, this is the thanks I get. Oh, that's okay. That's always next season. There's there always is. next season. That's it. The good news is your suffering's over. The season's done. That's it. That's it. You're done. You put yourself out of your misery. Right. All right. Next up is Alicia May. 
aka Spider-Man, who has put, he's been slowly growing their points. Four, seven, 11. Let's there see we... if they can continue the momentum. Am I up? You're up. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's see it, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. This is again, probably the, uh, the, the Spider-Man movie I want the most at this point, where the Aunt May. Oh, where the Aunt May Aunt is the Spider-Man. Spider yeah. yeah. <laughs> That would be then what happens is like is like does Peter die? Yeah, obviously. Oh, okay. Great power comes. <laughs> but wouldn't her wouldn't? No, it's, it's, I don't know. Is it is it her in laws? Who is who is she related to Peter through? Is it like her sister or brother who dies? Oh, you know. Like no, it's who's... Peter Parker. It must be. Yeah, it's May Parker. Yeah, right? May Parker. So it must be Uncle May... Ben's. Right. So maybe they have brother who dies right yeah okay that makes sense okay okay all right so we have to move at the scraggy the gimme ghoul the magmar the swoobat not woobat no, woobat and, and swoobat the gengar the nope magmar magmar no. oh my gosh gengar magmar charmeleon swoobat, woobat. ghastly ghastly gengar still not doing anything for us the mime junior and then the cerule it's, really, it's so, tempting fate with the critical hit but doesn't get there yeah not just, that it would have changed much because it's the cerule so just nine cents on that one oh, if you want to write it down just in I case will. i don't think it will just in case, I think we're already below nine cents on last place. There we go. All right, next up we have Christy C also opening up her second pack ever. Her first pack was only two points. So let's see if Christy can uh, defeat herself at least. Room for improvement. Room for improvement. Yeah. It doesn't say rookie of the day on here. I don't think two points would have done it. So. I know, it seems surprising. It would. We've had some low. We've had some low scoring battles though for rookie of the day. Fire energy. Not a single not grass energy has one. been pulled. Can you all can day. you imagine having bought all these packs and you're like, I really need a grass energy know, for my right, deck. And I know. It's like, Surely I'll get one. I'll out get of all one. These. Yeah. So far, no dice. Kilowatt or Curlier, Crisis Punch, Ultra Ball, Executor will score, and Zatu. So just two. Just a two point pack for Christy C. Cannot improve upon her previous record. That's too bad. Too Truly. bad. Not what you want to see, but that's okay. All. That's okay. There's always better luck next time. Plus, you know, you can just enjoy the Zatu. You can join the Zatu clan. I know. There's so many of them at this point. And the Grievar. That was a double because it was the Grievard, right? No, oh, it was Executor. Yeah, that was Also good. pretty common, yeah, I'm starting common. to notice. Yeah. All right, here we have Cartavian. <coughs> Cartavian. The back of the card, which always means they've been a long-time player. Yeah, and all, indeed. always since Season 2. Since Season 2, if not Season 1. We don't really have records for that. But, um, gosh, the best they've ever done in the entire time they've been playing is 10 points. No way! Let's see Cartavian. Let's see it. Cartavian. Today's the day. Cartavian. Let's see. Wooper, Tandem Mouse, Mankey, Flittle, Nimona's Backpack, Grappalocked, the Iono, the Ghastly will not score. The, oh, the Palafin is back again. Goodness it's our third gracious. One. And then the Reverend. I'll double check just for just for safety. Number 65 Man, on the set. Sure. Like eight cents on that one. And then For the, this? No, 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 not that Sorry. one. It Go, can't be eight cents. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure we just we, we just had it, so I think it was. Uh, yeah, I think it was two. Two. Yeah, number. So yep, you're right. Yep. Three, three point pack. Three man, point Cartavian. Point. I get the feeling Cartavian. You know, Cartavian reminds me of Count Threp in um, Name, Name of, of the Wind. Wind. Yeah. You know, like, are they ever getting their pipes? No. Do they come back every week for the love of the game? Absolutely. Of course they of do. Of course they do. Of course they do. You know? It's great. Everyone, everyone loves them. They're the life of the party. They have fun with them. They're never in contention, but, but it's every, a good like, time. All four buses, when they see Cartavian step off, they're like, he's here! Yeah! You know, like, he's, like, he's, he's the ambassador exactly. amongst all the other. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So thank so, you for playing. Thanks for your, thanks for your patronage. <laughs> Next up, we have Doe, who is, uh, her son is presently in the lead. So it would be hilarious if this was a huge pack. This would be. Am I up? Are yes. you up? Yeah, I think you're up. Okay, all right. Let's see. I'm going to go middle of the box see, here. Doe also a mod for us as well. So curse possibly in play. Although last season, she kind of broke it and got up to 37. I know. Very impressive. Very her best, impressive. Her best season ever. So if she takes the lead, she'll have like really been ramping up here. That would be the case. Yep. Yeah. So the rock is pummeling. So still no salad. Still no salad. We got the Paladin student, the Fido, the Haunter, the Cottony, the Ultra Ball, the Primeape, the Whimsicott. The Chew. The no, Pikachu won't, won't do anything. The Paladin oh, student will give us a critical hit on, on the, the Guard of One War. point Guard of War. Man, oh, it's so just, close. It's a sleeveable card at least, but Doe unfortunately not gonna not gonna be able to <laughs> take not a stab knock there. It off Chase. No, unfortunately not. Man. We want to write that. That, that down just in case it ends up being relevant. It's 46 cents, which seems like it would be. It could be, I guess. For a yeah. big Steve award. There we go, 46 on the guard of war. So Man. close. I mean, you had the card, you had the critical hit. 
No type advantage. <sighs> so close. All right, next up we've got Bourbonator. Here we go. Bourbonator, also been playing with a, another, another similar to Cartavian. Been in the game for a very long time. Their best pack ever back in season four. Best season with 20 points. So maybe a little, a little more success in the game. Oh! oh! At long last, the multiplier is in the house. Maybe wow. today is Bourbonator's day. Let's see it. Gimme Ghoul, the Magbar, the Nimona, the Charmander, the Graplock, Nimona's backpack, the Dox Bun, the Tinker Tough! There we go. The Mime Jr. will not score, and, and the, the Mimikyu. Mimikyu will. Let's see. That Tinker Tough we haven't seen yet, so that could be something. We'll take a look. It's almost always a mid -range shiny. Tough. Not a bad spot to be in. 166. $4.10 so, for that one. So five. And then is the Mimikyu a two? Let me double check. What number is Mimikyu? Mimikyu is 37. 37. I don't think so. Oh, it is indeed a Mimikyu. Okay. Here, look at so you. Seven, eight, nine times two is going to be an 18 point pack. Wow, that came out of nowhere. Wow. So you know what? Actually, the last time they had a really good season was in season four, which is another single point pack. So maybe Bourbonator is just like, I'm more of a, I'm just a different style of play. Yeah, yeah. You maybe know? that's it. Maybe that's there it. it is. All right. Well, there you go. You got the first multiplier of the day. Well done. The only person who, uh, Thought grass was showing up today. Oh my gosh! If I what, wait, what we through that again? So the Tinker Tough. Yeah, four dollars ten. Oh, five, six, seven. Oh, it was only fourteen points. Four, fourteen. My bad. Ooh. Correction. My bad. Correction. I did. I did bad math. It was bad. a fourteen point pack, not an eighteen point pack. That's okay though. That's okay. Still, still very solid. Still putting you in a a, a good contention for like top five positioning. So. Oh, so that could be a very that could be an eighth placer. It could be. You know? It absolutely could be. All right, next up we've got Trevor, our final rookie of the day. Uh, what are they What are they aiming for here with Carly B? Carly B has got uh, seven. <laughs> seven points. Yeah. So. so let's see what Trevor can do here. Let's see what Trevor, the possible. I don't want to say Toad, but you know. Oh yes, yeah, could the, be. Yeah. It's the main Trevor in my life. So. We do. We do know of a Trevor the Toad. We do. Yeah. Let's see, the water energy, we've got Varum, Charmander, Dedenne will score, Nimona, Graplock, Iono, Kilowattrel, Clobopus, the, nope, nothing on the new mill, and the Houndstone. Oh. Bam, there we go. So just, well, just a two point pack for Trevor, which means we have yet another Carly champion for rookie of the day. Well done to Carly, Jeez. congratulations. They're taking man. over the leaderboards, man. Seriously. Pretty good. Yes. We need like banners from the ceiling that like list all the champions and stuff. I know, you know? that'd be so cool. To just like that'd be pretty right funny. Now. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that would be like such a fun way to have like, <laughs> like when you go like to your school gymnasium and they're like, state yeah. champs, 1996. Right, like, we yeah. need that. You there know? it is, yeah. there it is. Rookie of the day, boom. Oh, very fun. All right, next up is Elizabeth. For Team Grass. For Team Grass. Let's see, how, what have they got here? They put up 15 last season, typical of Team Grass. Elizabeth has been putting up points. I'm looking at 17, 40, 14, 15. So very good numbers. Very good numbers indeed. Yeah. And we know Grass is formidable at all times. We got the Dark Teardrop, the Pikachu, the Grievar, the Fampy, the Chin Chow, the Nimona's Backpack, the Curlia, the Atticus, the oh, Shinx. the Shinx! That'll score something. Oh, the Arvin! Look at that Arvin! That's so, that's going to be worth some, yeah, the that's some juice, that man. Yeah, the Pokeball right there, dead center. Oh, that's dude. awesome. And Arvin's so playable. He's in so many decks. Let's see, number 235 He's in my deck set. right now. I'll tell you there that. I would yeah. love to use this card. Oh Fantastic. Gosh. You got two scoring, I mean, three scoring cards here. Oh boy, yep. Uh oh. That's not bad. Uh -oh. Seven, 1755 just for the Arvid. So that's, so that's an 18, 18 point right card. there. And then the Shinx is what number, Jay? That is going to be 135. 135. Let's see, 135. $3.96, so an additional four. four. So 22, 23. Man, 23, 23 point points. pack for Elizabeth. I told you, man. Elizabeth just, I don't know how some people do it. Came to play, brings home two awesome cards, very playable Arvin, and just, can, that's probably, that's got to be one of the top scores, right? It's second place overall right now. So it now. just extends Grass's lead. Grass is definitely just Gosh, absolutely just mopping it up. And away. earlier today, Drawing Hearts put up 16 points, <laughs> putting at least, I mean, I think three Grass people in the top five at the moment. That's so. um, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. I don't it. know what they're doing over there. By the way, in case you guys are wondering and you're, you're unaware, we do have a team competition that is actively happening in addition to everything else. And each team that wins each season does receive 
receive a commemorative pin that is designed specifically to that Just season. for that team. So there is stakes involved yeah. in case you're, you're into pins at all, but Team Grass has won it more than once so far. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like they're going to do it again. Uh, but that said, I mean, if Monkey Bacon here pulls a Charizard, Team Grass is just right out the window. That's you know? true. That's true. That's yeah. it. So Monkey Bacon, I think, is a father-son duo? It is a father-son duo. Yes, dad is Bacon, son is Monkey. Okay. Let's, Let's see. see. I just want to see that Charizard so bad. Dude, so me the, too. Oh, it is epic. Rock cool. is plumbing. The Natu, the Rare Candy, the Cottony, the Numel, the Curlia, the Gengar, the Technical Machine. Oh, oh. no, that one could be worth a little more. There we go. Got the, the Shiny Gardevoir. Shiny Gardevoir, number two. 17. The not two will not. Score. Oh, but it's a critical hit, Ben. Oh, it is a critical hit. Oh Bam. my goodness gracious. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh. We could have something fun happening here, depending on how this guard of war shakes out. Let's see. Number 217 on the set. Suspense is building. Here we go. Oh, it's not as much as you'd think. No. Oh, $4.41. So, not so bad. Five, so, six five. times two is going to be a 12 point pack there for Monkey Bacon. But either way, just an exciting pull. Yes, indeed. Oh, there you go. Okay. Man, I thought that would have been a little more. There is. There is an illustrator art version of this card in this set, so that's probably where most I, of the guard of our points are going. I feel like that's what always ends up hurting it is that it's like if there's like an even cooler, rarefied version, it's yeah. like everybody's like, well, we want that. We want that. That's what's happening to Nimona. Like, I know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Which is wild because they're both cool-looking cards. Right. All right. Next up, we've got Chrysara, who probably has blades for hands. <laughs> what it says here on my notes anyway. Yeah. It's a uh, black and they're belt. a black belt, yeah, so just, I mean. Yeah. Just, sure, informing our, yeah, our blade for hand, you know, theory. Right, yes. Let's see, what kind of scissors has she brought to play with today? Are we, are, we literally have two more contestants after this, and we have pulled one grass energy one, all day. The whole day. Ooper, Fambi, the Dene, Noibat, Charmeleon, Doxbun, Camera, the oh, Noil, oh, the shiny Noibun. Wow, burn. that is That's so cool, cool and part. critical hit. And oh a two-point research. Okay. Oh man, okay. Chrysara with her blades for hands uh, brings in the. So it would have been hilarious if she pulled the Cerule Edge. That would have been so wild. Yes, but so pulls up the Noivern EX. So the Noivern's gonna. It's a shiny ultra rare. We're coming at two dollars thirty-six cents. Wow. We'll round up to three. Three, four, five, six times, times two, two is another twelve-point pack. How about that? There you go. Twelve-point packs back to back for Team Electric. You don't see that very often. You don't see that very often. I feel like they're gonna be contributing to the overall team score for Team Electric. Which, yeah, at the moment. Um, I think, yeah, it's definitely, they were in third place coming into the day. So we'll get clawing a little bit back, but of course Team Grass is just formidable. All right, let's see if uh, next up our Brylib, another power couple in here, Arch Nemesis Dylan Clark. Yep, there we go. There we go, let's see. We have two packs left on the day. All right. Can we get some last pack magic going? Let's see, we got the Eyeball Energy, so yet another miss on the on the type advantage. The Lechonk, the Execute, the Ghastly, the Ralts, the Artisan, Lantern the Lantern will score. Will score. The Clive, the Gimme Ghoul will not score. The Fampy will not score. And the right. Oh, oh wait, what's going on here? here? Is there an extra card in this one? There may have been an extra card in there. Is that because there's two reverse hollows and then two rares? That I guess you have. How many cards are in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think it's just an extra. You just got an, like a bonus card in your pack. We've never seen that happen. <coughs> well, that's think. interesting. Well, we're still gonna count it. That's you know, yeah, absolutely. Nothing um, you can do about that. That's <laughs> hilarious. Okay, yeah. so I think it's still just three points there, right? <laughs> nothing, yeah. nothing super interesting. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't otherwise. change too much, other than maybe you squeeze that one extra. But you got three, and you have the distinction of having our first overstuffed pack. Yeah, how that that's unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, well, well done go. to Brylib. Enjoy. I know. Nicely done. All right, and now we are ready, Ben, for some last pack magic with Maddie. Uh, they have been with us for a while, almost since the beginning. In their very first season, notably pulled a zero-point pack. They joined at the end of the season, got one pack, and got and it no was, points. It was worth nothing. Nothing. Well, let's see. Can Maddie do that anymore? So, one grass energy all day. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. It, is, it has been like the least impactful type yeah, advantage type of we've ever had. Ever. Uh, generator, the fridge backs, the Don fan, and the <sighs> research. Wow, so just two points on that last pack. Just to close out. Man, Man. so no last pack magic today, unfortunately. Unfortunately not. We did have like a, a little surge there at the end with Bourbonator got 14, Elizabeth yeah. got 23, Monkey Bacon and Chrysara both got 12. Man, yeah, you're in like right. like the last like little run. So we did get to see some like kind of like a little bit of a spike where otherwise yeah. we were Otherwise we had drawing hearts at 16 sort of near the beginning of the day there. Right, so yeah, definitely like a, almost 
almost like reverse bell curve going on for this right. episode where you've got the high points at the beginning and the end and then almost a valley in between. Yeah. Um, but Chase holds on to the lead at 44 points. Way to go, Chase. Now we still have <clears throat> two more full episodes yes, left to go. There's still a lot of exciting things that can happen. And as ever, y'all, there are definitely some cards inside of this set that can single-handedly <clears throat> just like take over the lead. So never despair. Yep. Although if you're Chase, you know, maybe be like a medium amount of like confident and both worried, but like, you know, don't get too cocky at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Don't be like sitting, don't like be sitting around all, all day every week being like, oh my gosh. It must be, I wonder what it's like to be on the top of the leaderboard for this game in an early position where you're just like, oh no. Now I gotta like, I now know, I gotta wait. Like, now I gotta watch like, every episode oh, all the way through and just like see what happens yeah. on that leaderboard. Um, but if you would like to see your name on that leaderboard, you can very easily do so. We've actually opened up some more spots due to high demand. Um, so if you want to head on over to patreon.com slash gaming, select any of the box breakers tiers, you can get in on the action. Maybe if there's some spots available for Team Grass. Maybe so you want to get in on that. I don't know. <laughs> like, you want to be get part that of the pin, right? Want to be part of the winning team? Do you want to go and like show up for someone else and see if you can be the hero of that team? Anyway, all the links to that are in the description down below. And until next time, hurry up!